federal agency has proposed a new rule that would expand which businesses have to be involved with certain labor negotiations. Some business leaders in Montana are raising concerns about the impact it could have. MTN senior political reporter Jonathan Ambarian has a closer look at the issue. The National Labor Relations Board is preparing to implement a new joint employer rule. In a call last week, several representatives of Montana businesses said they're concerned it could have a chilling effect on them, and they're calling on members of Montana's congressional delegation to push back against the rule. The new rule says businesses that can exert control over the terms and conditions of employment have to be involved in collective bargaining, even if that control is indirect. Jason Small, executive secretary of the Montana AFL-CIO, says it's a worker protection measure that fixes a loophole. All this rule is saying is if a company has the power to implement um, changes in the workplace, they have to be at the bargaining table. But some business leaders said Friday they're concerned about unintended consequences, especially for franchises like chain restaurants and other companies that have independent local owners. A lot of the franchises that we think about as big business aren't big business. They just bought the business model. So there's small business owners here in Montana who employ hundreds and thousands of employees. Mike Ferretti is CEO of Great Harvest Bread Company, which has almost 200 independently owned stores across the country, but is headquartered in Dillon, Montana. He says when a similar standard was in effect during the Obama administration, the company spent heavily to make sure they were in compliance, and they'd have to do so again if it returned. We were going through this with our franchise attorney on a monthly basis, making sure that we didn't do anything that would trigger um, an obvious impact to us. Senator Steve Daines has signed on as a co-sponsor to a resolution calling to block the new rule, saying it's heavy-handed and threatens jobs. A spokesperson for Senator John Tester said he's continuing to have conversations with Montanans about what impacts the rule might have on businesses and labor relations. Currently, the new rule is set to go into effect on February 26th. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News. Two past Montana governors have called the historic Hauser Mansion home. Territorial Governor Samuel T. Hauser and Governor Tim Babcock. And soon, another one will too. Governor Greg Gianforte and his wife Susan recently bought the home at 720 Madison Avenue in Helena. With their own money, they plan to move in during the summer. The governor told MTN News he chose to buy the home as a place to bring Montanans together. The Gianfortes plan to then gift the property to the state after his time in office. The state will then decide whether to accept the home. The current governor's mansion has been sitting empty since 2021, pending renovations. Gianforte described the current governor's mansion as a little long in the tooth and said he feels it is not clear spending money to renovate it is the best use of taxpayer dollars. MTN's Marion Davidson will have a look inside the Hauser mansion later this week.